everybody, welcome to my channel. I thought today I would do a little introduction and tell you a little bit about myself. Since most of the videos that I've done so far have pretty much been recipes and cooking and things like that. So, uh, my name is Tracy. I'm 43 years old. I'm married. I've got two little girls and a dog. And I work from home. I have my own little business that I've done for a few years now. And I have been doing keto since July 1st. That was when I officially started. Um, backtrack a little bit. Before that, I had fallen and I had a torn meniscus, which I was going to have to have surgery for. And to me, that was really scary sounding because, for one, it's surgery. And another thing, they said that I wouldn't be able to walk or drive or do much of anything for like four to six months. And to me, that just blew me away. I just thought there's no way I can be unable to walk for that long. I've got too much to do. I mean, everybody does. So I just started looking online and trying to find out ways I could maybe avoid surgery or put it off longer or you know what can I do to make it get better on its own if that's even possible and I could never find much of anything it just there was no real evidence of anything that really helped everything was just well I tried this and it kind of worked for a little bit and one thing I knew I had always been needing to lose weight I have been on diets back and forth for a long time like I don't even know how long as long as I can remember and I kept hearing about the keto diet and um, I know of some people that had tried it and had had a lot of success with it but I was in the mind frame of I can't give up bread I can't give up desserts but I definitely was like I cannot quit eating bread Cause that's my favorite we go out to eat and who cares about the food I just want the bread and the butter and that's all I really care about and the food is just something else to eat with the bread so that kind of put me off for a while but the more I was reading about it and all the health benefits of it and the different things you know how it makes you feel and everything I thought well I'm gonna give it a try and the worst that could happen is I will fail and I'll just be back to where I started. So I started reading all about it. I dove in with the macros and, you know, buying all the almond flour and doing all the things. And I was tracking all my food and doing all of that. And I immediately started losing. I think the first week I lost like 11 pounds. And so I was like, this can't be happening this can't be real you know how am I losing weight this fast and you know the first week or two it was pretty hard I had a bad headache for like a week and a half that finally did go away because I hung in there and I kept thinking but I'm losing so I gotta keep trying this and it just it it kept on working and after a while, I, I actually quit tracking my macros because I was losing so well and I was getting so used to it and to where I kind of knew I can kind of eat this or that or oh, that I gotta stay away from. So I haven't really been tracking my macros since the very beginning much at all. Um, since July 1st, I've lost 76 pounds and I've actually not had to have any knee surgery. My knee feels totally fine to me. It doesn't bother me. I can go up and down steps. I can sit down in the floor and get back up again with my kids and it doesn't bother me. It's like it never happened. So yeah, I may have to eventually still have surgery one day, but at least I've put it off for now and I feel better. I've lost so much weight that you know I feel better about myself I do more things you know I, I feel like I'm more able to play more with my kids at the playground I'm going down the slide with them 
you know, um, it just, I feel so much better and it's just really changed a lot of things for me. So I continue to eat that way and I thought maybe these videos would be kind of a way for me to be accountable because I've been slacking and I've been stuck at the same weight for about two months, I guess. And I haven't gained or lost. I've been staying right at the same, at the same size, the same weight, everything. So I need to get the weight movement again because I still have more to lose. I have PCOS and I also have neurofibromatosis. And so I battle with these things every day too. I found that the keto has helped the PCOS symptoms and it has kind of helped me to become more regular in my cycles and things like that. I mean, like I said, it has really changed a lot of things about me, about the way I feel, and about my health in general. I plan to be making some more meal prepping videos and some more recipes and maybe just some day in the life of a work at home mom keto, lazy keto style even. I don't know, we'll see what we do, but hopefully I'll see you soon on the next video. I had to add, sorry about the dryer going in the background. That's mom life. I hope you'll subscribe and I'll see you soon. Bye.